living on the ocean can desensitize us to the daily scenic views we come across. We don't tend to notice until something gets in the way. A wayward cargo ship coming out of the Brunswick, Georgia port did just that almost two months ago. This wayward cargo ship was carrying thousands of cars from the Brunswick port to Baltimore. We're off the coast of southeast Georgia where this giant barge has tipped on its side and not made it up again. There are a lot of different accounts of how this happened, but the one that I've heard the most and from the most credible sources, including the driver of this boat, who shall remain nameless, is that the boat was going through the deepest channel where cargo ships are supposed to travel through and it became wobbly so wobbly that it was eventually going to turn on its side so it had to get out of the channel so that it wouldn't block other boats progress through the channel we are i think what a month a month after this happened much work is being done to remediate this situation but the boat is still on its Incredible accounts have it that the boat's actually sinking because the tide moves back and forth underneath it. And I can't really explain this in any scientific way, but it causes the boat to sink slightly. And there it is, a pretty unusual sight here off the coast of Georgia between St. Simon's Island and Jekyll Island, which is, I've heard, the shark infested water in over 48 states. However, that does safety vessel in the middle of the picture right now encircled the ship the entire time we were out there today and the captain actually approached us as we were leaving and thanked us for not coming within 150 yards of the ship. I appreciate it. I wouldn't do it. What you're looking at is the ship from the west and an easterly view and you can see a hole where the anchor is located zooming in here you can see a boom in the distance that was to block excess oil and toxic fluids that might have leaked out from the boat each car had three gallons of fuel in it Here you're looking at the bottom of the boat, and soon the camera will pan and zoom in to the hole they cut in the bottom so that people trapped could get out. There's the propeller. I can't confirm nor deny that the following pictures aren't the boat that was just shown, but this is what the inside of one of those cargo ships looked like. So you can see cars, tractors, heavy machinery, subway cars actually, and military vehicles. How and when this ship will be removed remains to be seen, but until then, it remains to have the attention of me and my fellow onlookers. Thank you for watching.